one foot in front of the other. That's how Barbara Cox takes every walk every day. That's because it wasn't long ago she didn't think she had many days left. I heard the doctors tell me you have breast cancer and he kept talking and talking and talking and I'm sitting there going, I have breast cancer, I'm too young to die. But instead of wallowing in self-pity, Barbara got positive and started walking. I always walked a couple miles a day and in my mind I felt if I walked more, the drugs would go through my system faster which was not true, but mentally that helped me. She's been hitting the streets for two and a half years since her diagnosis and now is embarking on the biggest test of all, a three-day, 60-mile trip in and around the city of Boston, walking alongside fellow cancer survivors. If I can walk 60 miles and possibly save one person from going through what I went through, 60 miles is nothing. I've packed an awful lot of tissues. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a lot of tissues meeting other people who are cancer survivors, listening to their stories, hearing what they've gone through. I think it is going to be a very emotional ride for me. But Barbara won't be alone on this walk. Her husband will be there with her and she'll be wearing a belt covered with pictures of cancer survivors to help her every step of the way. Every step she takes, Barbara says, makes her stronger and hopefully will be inspiration to others suffering with the disease. They might not need to go 60 miles. There's 10 mile walks, there's five mile walks. But don't be afraid to get out there. Give it your best shot. I can fight this. I'm going to beat it. Um, you know, I may have cancer, but cancer wasn't going to have me. In Savannah, Andrew Davis, WTOC News.